Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Truck and we are playing Rimworld Alpha 14 on extreme difficulty as the Dark Moon Slavers. Welcome back. Um, we do have a manhunter pack um, of boars outside, which is um, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> um, and we do have the solar flare at the same time, uh, which is very bad. And uh, we've got Gungeon starving over here because um, he broke, <laughs> or she broke, however you wanna, however you wanna say that. Um, the problem is that we do have a cold snap outside, which is reducing the temperature of these areas. So even though we have enough power, our um, electrical devices don't really work. I might actually just deactivate the solar flare. I find this kind of a bullshit thing. I mean, on the other hand, yeah, why not? Solin is hauling rice. I guess I'm going to put up Solin to um, to plant cut. Let's bring the hauling down. And I think let's have a look at plant cutting. Who's who's good at this? Solin isn't actually too great at it. Um, where's our new recruit, Lawrence? Over here. Let's bring you to. Um, to plant cutting as well so that should do something for us I'm just trying to do an emergency harvest over here get um, get the things um, get the things cut that we have oh, we're not really getting anything out of it oh yeah okay so we're getting a little bit out of it a little bit of herbal medicine it's more the food then the actual herbal medicine, that is my problem. It's minus two now. I mean, it's 21 outside, so it could be worse. Could also be much better. Mm, Lawrence is harvesting some food. And this could, this could actually be a very bad thing for us, because we were low on food already. I mean, the rice is growing fairly fast. Yeah. Solar flare lasted four and a half hours. Hmm. Let's hope it goes away. This is bad. I'm gonna just gonna go up in the speed again. At least we're getting some food out of it. It's not too great, but what can you do? Okay, so that's all right. Now I guess they're back to hauling. Well, what are you doing? Hauling rice to fridge, yes. Okay, so that stuff will get stored. Um, definitely want to change that airlock situation over there. Um, do we have enough marble? Yes, we do. So let's go for a marble, marble wall over there. And then let's do something like this. Which looks fine. Oh yeah, uh, marble wall over here as well. Although this is going to reduce the size of the room dramatically. <laughs> Not sure. It's it's kind of annoying that I can't uh, move these electric stoves. That's that's a bit of a problem. I can only deconstruct them. I guess it's fine. I guess it's not too much of a problem. How are these chairs? Some superior and a masterwork steel dining chair. But we've also got a poor one. I guess we're going to deconstruct that one. I really don't want that. Gungeon, how are you? Are you... Yeah, hypothermia as well, because we don't really get any heating anymore in there. Which is bad, but what can you do? We've still got a fair amount of steel. No steel sh uh, shortage. Let's pull the power conduit through here. And then through there. Let's bring it over. Our auto doors now just function as normal doors. I think they're still faster than the others. Opening speed 100% and that is a normal steel door. Opening speed 100% so I guess it doesn't make a difference. Um, well, we definitely want to put another steel auto door over here Gungeon could do a lot of good things during this during this time 
I mean, I could just arrest Gungeon, but I'm not sure that would be a good idea. At some point, Gungeon is just gonna keel over. Okay, no longer wandering around in a psychotic state. Um, wear pants, please. Wear your wear your armor. Wear that thing. And then please eat something. Nope. Consume a fine meal, not a normal meal. I want the mood buff on you. Um, yeah, that should be fine. That stuff is frozen. Minus 9 degrees. That already has 11 now. Um, so the solar flare is over. That's good. Should be able to get through this. And these auto doors actually are doing a lot of good work for us. Now, Gungeon, where are you? Um, over here, you're sleeping. That is a good marble bed, so you should be comfortable as well now. Hey, to find me here. Two times catasis. Pleasant environment, moral expectations, feeling good, impressive dining room. Ate cooked insect meat, I can't help you there. Slept in the cold, joy deprived, very tired. The very tired should go away as well. Joy deprived, yeah, you're gonna have your hours of joy when you get up, I hope. Uh, the exotic goods trader is out of range now. Too bad. I think what we might want to do is make this our orbital trade area then, because it's big enough. Um, Definitely gonna order them to mine the last rest of this. Let's just hope no one gets hit by a by the rock. By the rock wall. They're holding those marble chunks. Why are you holding that over there to the dumping stockpile? I guess that's fine. This is a lot of meat. I wonder if I were to open one of these doors, if something good would come of it. I'm not sure. But we've got, we've got a, we do have enough stuff to do on the inside. So we're not necessarily too dependent on getting out just yet. But I really would like to get the meat. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's, let's use Josiah. I want to unforbid that door and put Josiah out here. They would come rushing him after him like mad, wouldn't they? Yes. And will they die? They will. <laughs> no, 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 no. Forbid the door again. Ah, uh, they're gonna destroy my defenses now. You bastards. Okay. <laughs> They're running around. That should give us at least some meat. Yeah, you guys can go again. Are they frozen? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cold outside, isn't it? Won't spoil. Good. I hope they die from the traps at some point. They're not the cleverest. We need to set these to be reloaded as well. Um, why is that not being built? Uh, both our builders are sleeping. It's fine. We're getting there. I really want to want to build our TV room in there as well. But I think um, the temperature inside might be a bit, a bit uh, bigger problem. Um, this is all right for now. Could mine this out. That is marble too. <laughs> Most of them have died now, which is fine. Cold snap is over. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope those bodies stay stay frozen. Oh, uh, is that area not unroofed? Did I not tell you to unroof this? Yeah, I want a no roof area over this, so I guess that should be fine. Maybe maybe no one maybe no one took that roof away because our builders were busy. That might be a thing. 
So this might be considered a building where they actually go inside. Not good. I'm growing more food. We managed to harvest a little bit. Um, so we've got two times meat and we've got 575 units of vegetarian stuff. We still have kibble that people can eat. Black Spiral Dancer is cooking now. The night shift begins for our night owl. Anti Scamp is still missing his knife. Uh, we're not going to give it to you right now. That looked kind of creepy. Oh, and there's milk. Hope it doesn't spoil too soon. Hello, he's going to his bed. What's that? Torch lamp. It's not done though. We need more wood. And I actually bought wood from the traders, but it is lying outside. We haven't brought it in yet. Are there any traps that have not been sprung? Yeah, those two in the front. And that one. Maybe one of them will spring it? No. Need more traps. Need more deadfall traps. It doesn't really um, replace a proper kill zone. But it can still be useful. Mm, let's just bring up the speed. Nothing, Nothing much to do at the moment. Do have our auto doors over here, that should work. And this is 21 degrees again, so it's nice and warm inside. Uh, let's hope the um, food grows faster than we can go through it. I do have hope for that. Um, what I could do is I could start to put an electric stove in there. Just so that we do have the chance of cooking at all times. I think I'm going to. I do have enough components and enough steel. We do have three cooks. Although Matt Jan is currently stone cutting. That's not a problem. I'm gonna gain a lot of marble. And we're gonna need it because we're gonna rip out all these internal walls and stuff. Gungeon, how are you? Uh, have you recovered? Level 19, a legendary constructor. <laughs> um, the cooked insect meat is not great. Slept in the cold, feeling bad, joy deprived. I mean, really need to remove this marsh as well with the, um, with the pump. We do have a heater in this area though. I guess I, I could crank it up even more. I might. Um, I don't think we need that many heaters in here. Let's reinstall that one in our dining room. The food might spoil. The food that we have currently. But I think it's going to be fine. It's not going to lay around there for too long. Um, let's just go up to speed 2. There's a 0. Consuming a simple meal, then it's gonna go back to cleaning. Lots of stuff to clean. That Jan is stone cutting. Things are happening. And the manhunters are still out there. <laughs> there are a couple of wounded pigs as well. Solid. Can you can you haul? Yes you can. What we're gonna do. Yes, we're gonna bring you out and we'll try to haul one of these dead pigs in. Um, so, this door is no longer forbidden. Try to shoot that pig. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on. Get out of there. <laughs> We're gonna forbid this again. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> They're um, moving on our doors now. Come on, leave those doors. They didn't do anything to you. <laughs> this is crazy. Hmm, we need someone to deconstruct that stuff. What are you doing, Gungeon? 
Hauling heater to heater. Yeah, I guess that's fine. That heater has been broken down and has not been fixed. I guess no one really has the the repairing as an absolute priority. No power. Did I not put the power into this wall as well? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. So now this room will be nice. People won't have to, to be in the cold anymore. Holding marble blocks to walls. So we're doing this. I like it very well. That's a lot of marble blocks to go around. No. Yeah, we're going to cancel this until the wall is built. And let's... Um, let's remove the roof area before someone gets actually killed by a falling roof. Hope he does the rest of the stuff as well. No. Okay, well, I'm going to forbid this door then. Let's see what Gungeon does now. Remove that roof area. Okay, yeah, all the roof area gets removed now. That's good. That's really important. Can end very bad. Playing horseshoes now. Poor mood. Anti-scam. Okay. Relaxing socially. Get your plastic knife first, please. How is the egg progress? 88%. Soon, soon we're going to have our first fertilized eggs. The iguana is wondering. That iguana has a 71% fertilization chance. I wonder if the um, if the bread cobras are going to be tamed from the beginning because they grow up being tamed. I'm not sure. I'm going to allow this door now. Um, zone. Let's make this a bigger no roof area. I'll make this into one weird nothing can remove thick roofs okay I guess they gotta they gotta be small again it's minus four degree outside so that that meat won't actually spoil can't wait to have more meat here it's gonna be good Gungeons building our marble wall then we're gonna um, replace these two doors with um, steel auto doors they're gonna be Gonna be very useful. Um, let's deconstruct that steel door. There's Lawrence holding the chunks. Hunter Lex weapon. Oh yeah, Gungeon lost his weapon. Oh, her weapon. Guess that got hauled already. Deconstructing the steel door, that's good. And now you're building the marble wall, which is gonna end. Um, part one of this. How much do we get? Did we get back? Nineteen. Building that that part of the of the power conduit. I think that's fine. Um, and we need to give you your charge rifle back. I think you're gonna get that one. Oh no, over here. That is that is yours. The one that was forbidden. Take it then. It's fine. Didn't have any degradation. I guess because it wasn't really lying around outside. These components will degrade. Hauling steel to auto door. Oh, you're building that one first. Yeah, that's that's fine as well. Let's just put the second auto door into this one. Over here. That's look that looks nice. Got the iguanas moving around. 72%, 90%, 90%. I can't wait. Oh, roof has collapsed because it was too far from support. Luckily, it didn't hit anyone. Um, well, actually, we're going to forbid that door. So, we're going to have Gungeon remove some roofs. <laughs> What's that? Collapsed rocks. Um, but it says nothing can remove thick, nothing can remove thick, um, thick rock roofs. I guess we gotta just 
do it from the outside. Guess that's how it's gonna go. Wonder what we what we're gonna do with this stuff. Guess we can mine it. Okay, maybe that is so uh, that you don't take this as an easy way of destroying stuff. Repairing marble wall. Guess we're done with removing the rock walls, I guess. Then there's more important stuff to do. We're going to unforbid that door again. We're nearly there for the moisture pump. I'm looking forward to it. Manhunters. Ah, oh, come on. Roof, ca roof has co collapsed. Okay. <laughs> this stuff keeps happening. <laughs> These guys at Desert Zero is always one step behind Desire, just removing the dirt. <laughs> Uh, constructed roof. Overhead mountain. Yeah, I feel that is that might end badly. Digging at collapsed rocks. I wonder if we get anything from it. Everything has been sold, I guess. Otherwise, solid would really be out here. anything to build yeah over there I guess Gundren is doing it good nice so now we have an auto door over here let's deconstruct that one building roof yeah okay so we were still missing one roof area it says indoors though well I'm fine with it uh, this area needs to be roofed completely, that's for sure. Um, we're gonna change that. We're just gonna deconstruct those. Poor mood. Anti scamp. Why are you in a poor mood? Yeah, the apparel is going to be a problem. Slept in the cold, little pain, insulted, feeling horrible, hungry. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. Cooking a simple meal. I've got an exotic goods trader. Um, where's Wormos? He's sleeping. I don't really want to wake you. I guess we're going to leave it as is. Who's our next best social person? Let's just go for wardening. 10, 9. Jesse might be the next best person. Anti scamp is also amazing. Yeah, 16 social. Holy crap, anti scamp. You're a hidden gem. So let's call this let's call this trader. But I guess we're gonna deal with them in the next episode. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.